Officially, the high temperature today was 78 degrees. Then a round of showers and a few thunderstorms rolled on through, dropping the temperatures into the 60s by late this afternoon. And we've been there ever since. Right now, we're at 63, a partly to mostly cloudy sky. Humidity 97% with a dew point very close to the air temperature. Dew point 62 right now. And winds are calm, and we could potentially see a little light patchy fog developing in a few spots. It shouldn't be very widespread, and even if it does develop in some areas, it should mix out pretty quickly tomorrow morning. 63 in Moon, same in Bethel Park. Churchill and Greensburg are both at 62, 63 in Washington and West Mifflin, 61 in Butler, Indiana, and into the upper 50s now into Latrobe. Temperatures likely won't move much additionally overnight tonight, probably in that low to mid 60 degree range by first thing tomorrow morning. Then a quick warm up by noontime, upper 70s, and we'll level off right around 78 to 80 degrees with the best opportunity to see some showers and a couple thunderstorms coming as we get into the afternoon time frame, and specifically mid to late afternoon. And it really will be somewhat location dependent as to who sees what and when. Right now, no one is seeing anything on terms of radar across the area and should be fairly quiet across most of the area tonight. We'll start our clock at 11 p.m. the current hour and we'll move ahead to 4 a.m. And you can see at that point well north of I-80, seeing a couple showers in through Crawford and Erie County, but staying dry locally overnight tonight. Now we move ahead into tomorrow morning and midday and you can see a line of some showers specifically north of Allegheny County that are going to be cruising by say between about 11 and one o'clock and then that round of showers moves out quickly and then things are going to sort of shift the uh, the focus as we get toward late afternoon and early evening. You see by 7 p.m. things starting to fire up a little bit in southeastern Ohio with some showers then to cross areas to uh, the south of Interstate 70 by tomorrow evening and into tomorrow night and then by 11 p.m. we are quiet once again. Again the setup Tomorrow probably doesn't have as many showers across the area and probably not as strong as what the last couple of days have, have brought to the area. But a couple of thunderstorms again cannot be ruled out altogether. Everything has been moving fairly closely to this stalled out boundary, which is going to continue to waffle and oscillate for the next couple of days. Again, one disturbance goes by well to our north tonight. Then there comes that second one through the area by midday tomorrow. Again, mainly staying north. And then the boundary is going to start to sink a little further south. And then here comes the one by tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. Now, as we get into Wednesday, all indications are that the boundary is going to stay to the south. So Wednesday right now may end up being drier for most of us. The exception could be south of I-70 where a couple late day showers could fire up. But that could be our little bit of a reprieve day across the area. Forecast tonight, 63. Mild with clouds, a shower well north of Interstate 80. I think most places will stay dry. Then tomorrow, the high is about 81 degrees. Clouds and sunshine in the afternoon, a scattered shower or thunderstorm. Again, the coverage probably is not as great as it was today. On uh, Wednesday, we'll keep in a scattered thunderstorm chance, but based on the latest information, many areas could stay dry for much of the day. And you'll notice not much movement in temperature Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, right around 78 to 80 with a scattered shower or thunderstorm in the afternoon, but much of the time, much of this week, should get some dry time in. Back to you.